are you? Bake sale after bake sale. Hi, do you guys have tickets? After cakewalk, after chili cook-off. Tickets, please. Thank you. Folks at Murfreesboro's Fellowship United Methodist Church have tried raising money before. The shot is up, down, no good, rebound. With mixed results. Ah, thank you. So this year, down, there's a pass. Shoot it, shoot it. When they decided the same old basketball fundraiser might lead to more of the same, we gotta keep somebody down there. They thought of something different. This is gonna be very, very exciting. Way different. basketball and donkeys together, so that's a combination in itself that's not ever seen every day. Yeah! I think it's great. A highway patrol bomb squad technician by day. Good girl. Scott Pollard is used to some hairy situations. The pass is good. But not this hairy. <laughs> oh! That's Scott's wife, Angie. Pull in! Who's giving those bake sales and cakewalks a second thought right about now. Be a lot easier, huh? Come on. But clearly, oh, she breaks free. Being easier is not the reason why Scott volunteered for donkey basketball. Oh! <laughs> Will someone please make a shot? This is the championship game. This whole thing was Eric Bates' plan. For 20 years, I've been trying to find somebody that felt my craziness enough to do it. And finally, I brought it up at church one day, and they loved it. Oh, that had to hurt. Even better, the church says. <laughs> Today's event supports youth mission trips. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Come on, come on. They ain't riding them, they just pulling them. The donkey is definitely winning. So they say this idea really isn't as crazy as it looks. Look, he's whispering in his ear. They're going down. I don't think it's gonna work. Come on, come on, come on. In the end, <laughs> Scott's team eked out a win. Yeah! And with the money raised today, there's not a sore loser to be found. Yeah! But come tomorrow, there will probably be a lot of sore winners. <laughs> With photojournalist Catherine Stewart. Wow. Jason Lamb. They'll give me a year to recuperate till next year. We have it again next year. News Channel 5 HD. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. From the confines of a hospital bed, Mount Juliet teacher Amanda Ray could lead a class in determination. I'm doing well today. But today, there's no classroom, no textbooks, just loved ones and a diagnosis, stage four cancer. This is a huge day. For Amanda, any day spent with family is a huge day. Yeah. But today is even bigger than that. They're hurting you today because of all your hard work. I know. Awesome. I know. And you're getting Again. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> when she started down the path toward her doctorate in education 17 years ago. You're beautiful. And awesome. <laughs> yeah. Amanda never dreamed this would be the site of her hooding ceremony. On September 24th of last year when she was diagnosed with cancer, the word give up never came to her mind. But after all she's gone through, she couldn't ask for a better audience. I love you, Mom. I love you, baby. We congratulate you and lean forward. Congratulations, Dr. Ray. Thank you. <laughs> Ask her mother-in-law how proud she is today, and you'll see words can't do it justice. I'll show you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. There's no telling how much time Amanda will have left with her family and friends. Even today's gathering proved a little much. I'm done, baby. Okay. But rest assured. Welcome to the Guild of Scholars. Tennessee's latest doctor of education. So proud of you. Yes. This is good stuff. Has left a lesson them all. She's taught us all so much. How to fight for what you want. Love you. Love you, thank you. For life, for love. And they paid off, didn't it? And do it all over again. It's eight over three. There are the decisions we make that force us to face consequences. You are just moving the decimal point two places to the left. And then there are the decisions we make to learn from those consequences. Can you hear me with this? Mm -hmm. Inmate Lydia Judkins is here because of meth. She's trying to expand her options, 
but lately, arithmetic has not been at the top of her mind. Stella Ann, she is seven pounds, fully developed, ready to, just waiting for her to come. For pregnant inmates, turning their newborn over to the Department of Children's Services for adoption might be their only choice. <laughs> But baby Stella Ann won't face that future, thanks to a decision her mom made. I've had her since about uh, 8 o'clock. She learned about Jonah's Journey Ministry, a program that gives pregnant prisoners a chance to get their child back once they serve their sentence. Once they hear about our program, they, they have hope that there might be a way that they can parent this child. But with the chance to get their child back comes a harsh reality. They must first give their child up. I'm trying not to think about it, really. I'm holding her, hearing her, looking at her. Lydia is a prisoner, after all. But right now, in this moment, she's just a mom. Now they have a reason to make different choices. Now they think, is this going to be best for my child? Is this going to be, is this going to help me get out to be with my child? Or is it going to hurt? For two days, Lydia will get to bond with Stella. 2,880 minutes that eventually come down to the one where Lydia has to say goodbye. That's the hardest part to come back here empty armed. That's the toughest, probably two weeks of their life. What's going to get you through that? Mind control. It may be hard to understand then how something can be so heart wrenching. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're such a sweetheart. And heartwarming at the same time. <sighs> She's perfect. On paper, Paul and Amy Hogg may not be Stella's true parents. Oh, I see your eyes for a second. But the way they see it, it's hard to tell the difference. We've waited for a long time to be able to do something like this, so it's just, it's a great feeling. She's so cute. She's so cute. Pretty and cute. Pretty. pretty it's going to be fun to have a baby in the house for a little bit. Are you guys ready to start changing diapers? No. <laughs> They'll keep watch over Stella over the next several months. We love having a little baby in the house. Giving her the foundation she would otherwise go without. Oh, goodness is part of a family. She's got tiny, tiny toes. <laughs> Yet with every passing moment. You see her smile. <laughs> behind all this love. She was ready to eat. Is a truth. Can you all look at here and smile, Mom? Stella's time here may only be temporary. If we have to give the baby back after six months or so, that's going to be an extremely difficult thing to do. But at the same time, you're pulling for that. It's been three weeks now since Lydia last saw Stella. It's just hard being without your baby. Three weeks that, for Lydia, felt like they could last forever. But I'm getting by. But eventually, even the longest waits come to an end. Mm -hmm. ready to eat. Not even time could weaken this sacred bond hey, baby. Mama loves you. between mother and child. I love you. I love you. Even though today's is only a temporary visit. Oh, I'm glad to see you. Yes, I am. The smile Lydia is sporting for the first time now. I love you. May very well be permanent. Oh, Stella. Now seeing her is just. This is going to make my week, week and month so much better. <laughs> Despite her past, Lydia has learned how to love. All of our women will eventually get out. We have to love them in here and on the outside. That's the only way to help them change who they are. I'm glad I took it because I got good people who take care of her. I'm just glad we get to help you, but at the same time, I know it's hard. Yeah, you know? it is. All of this. Hey there, you're about to leave. Thanks to that choice to do something different. Mama loves you. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Oh, no, you're welcome. So good to see you. A decision to change for the better that could one day bring Stella and Lydia together 
for good. Mama loves you. Yeah. Mama loves you.